Uh, hello everybody again. Um, the question I've been asked is about the future of edge lane allotments in higher openshaw. I think it's probably worth just saying a little bit about why that question has been asked because um, one thing that the regeneration of East Manchester has sought to do and I think hopefully you, you will have seen some improvements with this over the last eight to nine years is to improve the environmental conditions of the area so the local parks that we've got in the area many of them have been improved significantly we've created community gardens you'll see more of that in a, in a separate blog and um, we've improved pieces of open space we've improved school grounds etc etc uh, but also we recognize the importance of allotments in terms of improving the environment not just in terms of having good quality green space in places like East Manchester but also the agenda about um, growing food and growing vegetables and fruit and the importance of healthy eating. So allotments we've always felt are, are critically important. We've got some great allotments. You look at Phillips Park, you look at Ackroyd Avenue in Gorton, there are others um, where you know allotment holders do wonderful things in terms of, of improving their, their local environment and growing food and flowers and plants and etc etc and we've got some very good links in terms of where allotments are working with with schools or youth clubs greens i think it's important to, to recognize why important why allotments are, are important in terms of, of the you know, the overall environment of a place like east manchester you know yes they are little green havens they are you know part of the, the greenery of the area that the hopefully good quality open space or improved quality open space but there's also an, another angle to it, you know, allotments are there to, to grow fresh fruit and vegetables and healthy eating is something that, you know, is close to our heart in terms of our health programme. So we do try and encourage, you know, it's allotment holders to be growing fresh fruit and veg and for people to actually get access to fresh, fresh fruit and veg. But there's also, a, you know, a learning angle to this. Um, there's also an exercise angle, you know, healthy is... Healthy eating is one thing, but actually if you're digging over an allotment, you know, that's a good way of getting your exercise. But in terms of learning, you know, some of the allotments have got very strong links with local schools, but also young people. Um, I do know that, you know, from what I hear, is that there, that there are young people involved in allotments who are learning all the time. And I think there is, you know, my dad used to have an allotment when he was alive. And I, I just remember, you know, what was, was really, really fascinating is in terms of how much knowledge he had about growing about, you know, pollination and, and you know what would grow at certain types of the year and um, what would grow in certain types of ground conditions etc and I think you know in, in many ways it's like the, the older generation today is that, that you lose so much knowledge about you know the history of a place but also you know because allotment holders on the whole are getting old we just need to encourage younger people to, to get into allotments and to get that knowledge passed on to them before we lose it forever so you know there is an important um, learning angle to allotments as well. Edge Lane, I think there's a bit, well there is a history to Edge Lane and um, those, some of you might know about it, some of you might not know about it. Next to the canal in Higher Openshaw, a uh, fairly high profile site, you know, what we've been trying to do in, in East Manchester is, is open up the canals for development. Um, if you look at what's happening around Sports City, look at what's happening in Ancoats, you know, we're, we're bringing canals back into use. Um, Edge Lane allotments, I think for a number of years have been fairly poor quality. Um, not all of the plots have been used. Um, a lot of them are used for keeping pigeons. Uh, there's even a horse and a donkey on there, I understand. And not all of them, not many of them, have been used in terms of for growing for the you know what you would traditionally see as as use for allotments. New East Manchester and the City Council were looking to close um, edge lane allotments at one stage in terms of to develop it in terms of, of housing. Um, that was not successful, um, and I think once that decision was taken by the government that they would not. Um, support a compulsory purchase of the allotment site. You know, we've been made, made absolutely clear that we are now fully behind the allotment and support of the allotment. We do see the allotment as an important part of open space. What we want to see, though, is improvements to edge lane allotment. We want to work with Manchester Leisure and the allotment holders um, to make sure that you know we don't think the quality of it's been good in the past. It is improving, but it's still got a long way to go. So we are really positive about the future of the allotment. We want to work with the allotment holders and particularly with Manchester Leisure, who are you know the people that, that manage it and run it. Um, to ensure that you know there is a, a long-term successful future for edge lane allotments it's an improved site we get more people using it and we ensure that it, it's part of the that the improved environment of East Manchester I, I think if nothing else what the process that we went through did is generate real interest amongst the allotment holders they put up you know I think a fabulous campaign in terms of keeping the allotments which was successful and I think since then 
they've continued with that enthusiasm to get people down there to, to start looking to improve it to ensure that you know it is it's still not a great allotment in terms of there's some very good plots there but on the whole it's not great quality and I think quite rightly what they're trying to do is to bring investment into those allotments and I think what we're trying to do is to work with them and Manchester Leisure to do that so what I'd say to the question is that we do see that there's a, a strong future for edge lane allotments as an allotment site we want to see it improved we want to see more people using it there's still plenty of plots that aren't used so if you are interested in having an allotment get down to edge lane and, and, and start growing because you know I think if you have the time allotments are a great way in terms of getting some exercise and growing stuff that's fabulous to eat so there's a you know there is a healthy angle to it um, so uh, you know, I do hope that they succeed in terms of really turning the place round. I think you know the enthusiasm that I hear that, that they're putting into it I've got no doubt that they will do that and the edge lane will be a, an important part of the environment program in East Manchester for many many years to come.